goodness. Sounds like someone just got hit with a mallet. You know what to do with red barrels, right? Well, I'm guessing I shoot them and they explode and then they set all of the enemies on fire. If my life has taught me anything, it is that fact. So, good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a game, or rather a demo, for a game called Heritage Hills. This is not one of the uh, more common occurrences where I'm playing a demo because I can't afford the full game, it's I'm playing the demo because I don't think the full game exists yet. I am a man who does not have access to a stellar frame rate. But don't you worry about that. We'll just worry about the music being a bit loud, as it so often is. So, to the best of my knowledge, a flashlight. Press F to toggle. Excellent. Always like a nice toggle on my duffel coat. What have we here? Breakable objects added to documents. Can I show transcription? What button is that? Oh, that's space, isn't it? I always forget that. Why do you kind of write space instead of that button? I don't know why, because that, that's never written on any space bar. Or anything. Some objects, like this barrel, can be broken with a weapon inside. You may find loot along your way, or there may be nothing. What a travesty that would be. So where's this barrel you're talking about? Do you mean one of... Oh, no, you mean this barrel here, right? Do I have anything with which I can do bludgeoning? It would seem not. At least, not at the moment. So... I don't really know a hell of a lot about this. Hello! Nice... Nice trousers. Why are your toes... Why are the bones in your toes hanging on, despite the fact that they are merely skeletons? I will never understand why every skeleton and every piece of media stays together. Like, I'm not crazy for thinking the skeleton should have fallen apart, am I? <laughs> anyway. Um, this is really pretty. I really like this. Uh, obviously, as you can see, fixed camera angles, um, and I think it is sort of based off old-style sort of Silent Hill, Resident Evil type menageries, um, which I thought would be a bit of fun to have a little splore with. Oh, goodness. That looked a little bit spooky-pooky. Might leave that for a minute. Let's go over and look at this, which definitely isn't in the slightest bit spooky or pooky. Good afternoon. Well, quite. These people are sick. Well, probably not. They're probably perfectly healthy because, you know, when you're sick it's a bit difficult to get out of bed and string something like this up. I just hope that Martha is all right. Oh, okay. Is that who I am here to find? I'm here to... Yes, oh, goodness. This is gorgeous in terms of the lighting. Um, is that who I'm here to find? I have come to uh, rescue some pal of mine. All right, then. This, this is very exciting. I'm not usually generally a um, a fan of fixed camera angles, but um, I do think they can be used sometimes very cleverly to give you nice cinematic views on things. I do not look forward to seeing how bad my aim in this game is, because to the best of my knowledge there is a gun, and there are bad people that need to be shot with said gun. But here is, is a knife that's about big enough to slice some grapes with combat knife, if you were combating a mouse, maybe. <laughs> Alright, how does one do the fighting? Hello, Daniel... Oh, goodness, I'm never going to try and pronounce that. Okay, uh, use of close quarters of breaking things. That was certainly the case for, um... Certainly the case in the old Resident Evil. Right, I have some documents, I have my... No map. No, I do not have a map. Alright then. Fair enough. Underneath my big flapping pie hole, there is the thing which is coins. This is I have a grand total of none of them. So perhaps we shall find a merchant with which we can do commerce. Now, how does one do the fighting? Okay, so I hold right mouse button to uh, aim, as it were, and then I use left mouse button to do the striking, or possibly the shooting, a bit later when we graduate from uh, fighting slices of bread. Or loaves of bread, perhaps, that need to be sliced. Alright then, let me head back to where we began and see if there was anything in that mystical barrel of mystery that uh, was shown to us earlier. Can I find anything in here? Huzzah! I have found a bottle. Mixing agent. Hello, agent mixing. 
a strong chemical that allows for the creation of chemical formulas used in medicine. Right. Do I need to combine this with some herbs to make a Healy item? <laughs> I imagine for most people this is slightly further removed from Resident Evil than it is to me. It's, well, at the point of recording this, I'm still in the uh, still in the midst of recording that series, so uh, it's probably it might have finished by the time this video actually goes up. But um, yeah, can I smash these barrels as well? No, I can just let off little smoke bombs by them. Alright, how do I know what's breakable and what isn't? Other than that particular type of barrel being breakable. Alright then, now that I have my knife and I'm ready to do fighting, can I walk through the French doors? Why are those women grinning so much? Why do they have to grin so creepily? Oh, goodness. Right then. Let's see what we can find. Oh, goodness, you didn't need to move quite so suddenly. Clover Industries, what at first started as an engineering firm for medical equipment, has undergone a major overhaul. The new CEO, as of 2016, Ramon Black, has somehow secured a government contract to work for the United States military and other branches of service. On top of this, Clover has now its own private military that operates around its facilities. But something doesn't seem right with me. Yeah, because when was the last time a private military got out of hand? This Ramon guy doesn't trust... I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. And I don't trust that general that he made the deal with, either. Something fishy is going on here, and I am going to be the one who discovers it. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, good luck with that friend, whoever you are that wrote this. Right then, um, hello, Mr. Knight in, 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 in gleaming armour. Please do not come to life later and murder me, like you did to Ashley that one time. Right, I like that they're holding candlesticks instead of swords, but never mind. This is locked. This must be the main entry door. Okay, so you're telling me I need some kind of main entry key? Or are you telling me that I need to find a, uh, a more discreet entrance, rather than just catapulting myself through the front door like some sort of normal person? Alright. Let me go back outside. I wish to have a look around the side of this little uh, foyer and see if there's anything of interest on the veranda. Would you thank you, sir? When it's pitch black and I can't even look out of your own eyes, it becomes a little difficult to see what's going on, my good friend. Um, okay. What was that? That. Yeah, there's a little blue light flashing there. How mysterious. Perhaps it's just a TV. Right then, here is another barrel. Le Sorry. Do you see that, that thing moving in the window? I thought that was a person. Turns out it's just my shadow. Anything of interest? A herb. You are... The sound of the locked door and the sound of picking items up is literally the one after Resident Evil, but alright. Okay, how does this work? A herb used in ancient medicines can be combined with mixing agent to create medical fluid. Cannot be used as is. Alright then, well that's somewhat different from Resident Evil then. How do I do this? Um, combine with this. Huzzah! Medicine made from herbs. Restores health completely. Ah. Thank you. This gate is barred from the other side. I shall have to find another way around. Alright then. Let me get round back to. Uh, okay, the aunt. Let me work my way back around to the front of the house if I can stop tipping over all of these benches for two seconds. Okay, I think that's a few leaves. Just a few leaves. Nothing to be worrying about. Is there anywhere we can go on this side? anything of interest we can discover. Oh, does this lead me back to where I found the knife? Yes, it does. Right then, can I go this way? I can indeed. Where there is a spooky basement. And despite the fact it's raining, all of these candles seem to still be fine. Which you'll pardon me if I find a little befuddling. Alright then, here's another uh, barrel with which I can do murdering. I keep hitting space to prepare my knife. That's not what I meant to do. Oh dear. Right, this is locked, undoubtedly. What? I need something to cut the chain. 
can I use the knife for this? No. I guess I need something a bit more um, sturdy, like a pair of bolt cutters, or a um, bazooka, or something a bit like that. Right then, let's see if we can get into the basement. This doesn't look locked to me. It is not locked. Some objects can be broken with a weapon. Well, I tried that, it didn't work very well. Maybe we need a stronger weapon. Well, like a, like, like a bazooka. There ain't many weapons that are stronger than a bazooka, short of an atom bomb. But, um, never mind. Right then. You don't need to look so glum, mate. You're in a very promising game. Don't be so sad about life. What have we here? 250 coins! Okay, I like that we're not specifying what type of coins they are, or what kind of denominations or currency they are. But, um, okay. Fair enough. I guess that's the equivalent of the little, um, golden boxes of coins we found, uh, before. There's something blue flashing here, but seemingly I can't pick it up. Which is a little bizarre. Some very spooky pooky music. And then the wine cellar. Good, if this game... Uh, to be honest, I need this wine cellar after some of the recordings I've made today. Um, make me feel a bit better about life. Can I move this? Press E to interact. With the, with the infinite void of darkness. Do you wish to enter the infinite void of darkness? Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay, we've got some boards here. Can I get these off with a crowbar or something? Presumably not, given that there's no option to interact with this. Is there, um... There are no options at all. I'm just a bit concerned about this music being a bit loud for you. Um... Yeah, just give me a minute. I'm just going to check the audio levels and then we'll come back. Alright, I've just put it down a smidgen. Not massively, but just a smidgen, just so that I don't have to shout the whole way through, because, um... Relax, mate. I know you're worried about Miranda, or whatever her name was, but you don't need to look quite so glum about life. Um... Yeah, I've just put it down a smidgen so I don't have to shout the whole way through, because it said this might last a wee while, which would be nice. Right then. There are two... Fuse is missing, which I need to find. Wait, who f who's supposed to fuse with a Z? <laughs> I ain't no spelling expert, as that many of the descriptions of my videos have proven. But still, I don't think fuse is spelled with a Z. What am I climbing up? There seems to be something in this corner that I'm I'm wandering up. I'm not entirely sure what it is. All right, can I go through this door? Yes, I can. And I can severely regret that I came through here. Right. I shall return later, my friends. <laughs> uh, dear. Let me go through here first. What? Is that... Is that... Eh? 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 Mm, a bit confused. What happened? What giddy answer? That is a door, isn't it? That is a doorway. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what? Never mind. Giddy, aren't fixed camera angles. <laughs> oh dear, it's a real love hate relationship with these things. Alright then. Allow me to examine these two fine gentlemen. Or possible. Or possibly, um. Possibly not. Possibly I should leave them alone. Let them, uh, live in peace. Well, not live, obviously not. Okay, anything here? Another herb. That's nice. I can combine that with another mixing agent. I might save the mixing agent for the time being, though, just in case I find something else of interest with which I would like to um, do some mixing. All right, here is a little coffin. What could someone be doing with coffins? Something is not right here. What the bodies were a dead giveaway? No, no, no pun intended, but a dead giveaway. G -g giddy aunt, g -g giddy aunt. I have not an. I have not. A, I have not a gun to fight you with. You have the most. Marvelous movement animation I have ever seen in my life, my friend. Right, I'm gonna stand here so I can back up a little bit. Right. <laughs> Goodness. This game isn't scared to get a little bloody, is it? Ah, I'm still fine. Fine as. Fine as. Oh, no, 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 we can't make that joke again. We already made that joke. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, goodness, his body's gone. Um. Sorry. Rubbish joke came into brain. Realised I already told it a couple of months ago, so... Uh, 
should probably shut up. Right then, uh, anything this side? There's a box. Can't see that it's got anything in it though. Nothing too exciting. Alright then. So that was interesting. I didn't actually pay as much attention to his character model as perhaps I should have, because, um... Well, these are windows. I was trying to work out what they were. Um... Hello! I can't... I still can't see your character model very well. Am I not fine anymore? Status caution. Right, I might hold off just a little bit before I take another one. They remind me a little bit of ghouls from Fallout. But, I mean, there was... Uh, if this is harkening to more of Resident Evil, in terms of its enemy design as well, obtained, inventory is full. Oh, fiddlestick. Um, alright then, I will combine this with this. There we go. I'd like to have this fuse, please. Um, Resident Evil was never all that detailed on why the bad guys look the way they did. Giddy, aren't these fixed camera angles? Alright, I'm not sure what that is there. It's a Stone Age bicycle, perhaps. And a boarded up thing that I can't interact with, and then some sort of boiler. Or, um. device for cooking. Uh, which I cannot make much use of. Alright then, I found the first, um. the first fuse. Can I drop that fuse off, um. where it needs to be? Wherever that was, in here, I think. Because I want to get the space in my inventory freed up a bit. I need to find the merchant to buy the bigger attache case. Um, put fuse in box. Yes. Is that a 300 amp fuse? Kitty on. I've never seen more than a 13 amp fuse. What use for the 300 amp? Oh, probably like a whole house. Yeah, actually. To be honest, probably the fuses in most like breaker boxes are um, are that big. Probably shouldn't take my hand off the mouse, should I? That's probably a stupid idea, given that the mouse is how I defend myself. Right then. What ways have I not been? Let me go back to where I started and head back through here again. There must be another fuse secreted somewhere in this basement. Oh, yeah, maybe in the infinite darkness. <laughs> oh, God. And what's with this purple flame? What's all that about? Search vividly in order to not miss something useful. Generally good advice. Oh, dear. Right, sorry about that. What have we here? A tape player? Save game is not available in the demo. Oh, okay. I think that's a cassette player, which is at least a little bit more advanced than the saving mechanic we had in Resident Evil. What have we here? Your inventory has been expanded. Excellent. I am performing larceny in this home that I am in. Item box not available in demo. Then why in the name of... Why in the name of the full game is it here? <laughs> You'd think if it weren't available, it would, um... It just wouldn't be here. I love, I absolutely love that these fixed camera angles don't work half the time. Right, thank you. That's what I wanted. Just to be able to see where in tarnation I'm going. <laughs> oh dear, like I said, fixed camera angles are a very tricky uh, tricky thing to get right um, not just in terms of a design perspective but also from like a physical like programming perspective as well you're not dead are you? you do have the other fuse that I want however so um I'm going to preempt no maybe you are dead obtained fuse and you're still dead Excellent. I have no idea what happened. We were coming back from the old dungeon cells and I heard a rumbling sound. It's my stomach because I haven't eaten any dinner yet. That's when a rock must have fallen and hit Danny right in the head and knocked him out cold. I was going to carry him back, but it got worse, so I had no choice but to run. The entire hall collapsed. There is no way he lived through it. I just hope the master isn't angry with us. There has to be another way down there anyway. Besides, this place is centuries old. He couldn't have expected this to never happen. Witness, is this the master? My word. So fascinating, is it a skeletal monk wraith creature? And there's a CV of titles if ever I heard one. Oh, hello. 
I didn't expect to find this. Uh, I, I, I found this sort of statue in a uh, in another game I played a ways back. These doors are too heavy to open by hand. Maybe there's a mechanism that opens it. Yeah, something to do with the... They look like piles of ash? Maybe I could sort of set fire to them and I get like two... What are they called? Braziers? I can't remember what they're called. Them big metal things with fires in them. Um, that... Um, uh, so to get the fires going, and then that would uh, activate and uh, open the door for me. Who knows? Gideon. Okay, then. We have secondary fuse. Let me go back to the old breaker box and put that in, and then we'll try and figure out what that's going to allow us to do. Because presumably it's going to power something. Um, I'm just not convinced. Oh, Gideon. Gideon. I'm just not convinced I know what exactly. I don't feel like I've encountered anything which um which wasn't powered yet. I've encountered a few locked doors and things, but uh, nothing that was missing power. But it looks like the cable goes up, so it's probably back up on the main floor. Right, let's use this. Hold on. So all that time I was walking into that, what that really were were the excellent. Oh dear. Well, you didn't come to me to get an intelligent commentary on this, did you? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Looks like a nice home, though. A nice, um, nice homely home. Nice and cosy. I mean, the body's full of, uh, the basement, rather, is full of bodies. So I, um, I highly doubt much pleasantness has happened here. But we shall see what we can find. Hello, pleasantness. Obtained handgun. And for the first time in an indie horror game, it's not a Glock, which makes a nice change. Can I switch this out? In fact, it's a 9mm. Okay. Right then, I've only 8 bullets, but oh goodness, can we get up to a place where I can see a bit better? Oh gosh. So we're going with the laser sight rather than the reticule, much like Resident Evil as well. Oh no. I'm going to have to pick my battles very carefully, like come and stand away from the camera like this and then shoot like that, because this I can manage. When he's over here, it's going to be impossible. Hello. Would you like to step through this door and get your block blown off? No? Come on, mate, stop teasing me. Kitty, aren't and stop whatever it is you're doing. This, um, this gun isn't very powerful. Why do I get the distinct impression I'm mostly hitting the door frame? <laughs> oh no, there's another one over there. Oh dear, it's a lady one. Oh no, I'm going to be surrounded. It's a demo, it's not finished. Final thing, it'll be much more professional than I promise, I, I hope. I don't want to say I promise if I'm involved in it. I'm not. Oh, would you stop growling like you haven't been fed in a decade and shush for five minutes. Right. Let's have a better go at dealing with you, shall we? <coughs> Let's not have a better go at dealing with you, because I just run out of bullets, because that's used up most of them. Used up... You, Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I'd been sent on a lovely holiday to Switzerland. Oh, it seems I'm dead. Didn't realise that. You better not send me back to the beginning of the game or you will be getting a very unfavourable few words sent to you. You are doing all of the stuff you... You, you, you are lit. You... Okay, I didn't realise we were doing a permadeath thing. Goodness. You have to excuse me slipping off, or if it's more. The own here has a higher water content than a goldfish bowl, so it's um, a little, little close in here. Right then, so I'm back to the frickin' beginning. So um, 
I'll get us back to where we were, and then we'll have another go at this and try not to die again, because this looks really fun and interesting. I just don't think it's particularly... I mean, also, I... Oh, I was going to say, it's, it's got this restart from Checkpoint button. It does, but it seems like none of that is in the uh, demo, which is a bit mean. I mean, like, come on. Y you don't expect the player to die a couple of times? Do you think we're trying to get used to this, this new fighting mechanic? No? Oh, well. I'll get us back to where we was. Uh, well, this is an interesting state of affairs I've got myself into. It, Gideon, it seems to have stuck the camera angles on the second floor. Yeah, this is where I want to be. I don't want to be up here. I want to be right about there. Right, thank you. I'm glad we figured that out. For crying out. Right. Should we have another go with this gun? And this time, you know, not shoot the blasted boards a hundred times. <laughs> oh dear. Whoever said permadeath was a fun idea. And can I please tell them off for being wrong? Right, okay. This is going to be very difficult. Because... <coughs> Right, there we are. I'm now going to use a healing item. There we go. Another noise out of Resident Evil, but alright. Oh dear, the Master has warned us about the traps around the mansion. The original owner and architect of the mansion, Oscar Monroe, was known famously for his designs. But apparently he had many secrets that he wished to keep hidden from the world, which led him to designing many secrets inside the estate, including traps. One of the members has already lost his life by touching something that he should never have touched. As soon as he tried to get his hands on that beautiful gem, he was impaled by hidden spikes. Filthy minds will find dirt where none exist. Right, sorry, just ignore me, I'm just being crass at this point. Alright then, let's see what we have got in here. The people that came here are doing this to us. I don't know how, but I know it has something to do with that girl they brought with them. I've seen what has started to happen to the others around here, and it's not good. I'm getting myself out of here. I found a gun in an old safe box in one of the storage rooms. It might not be enough, but it is my only hope. That girl, those people brought with them, so familiar, yet unrecognizable. Was he the man who was holding the pistol, the pistol that I now hold, that is now dead? This safe doesn't have a combination lock. I wonder how this thing opens. Maybe you kick it open. Maybe you shout at it. Maybe you have to tell it a sonnet. Who knows? The only thing I know is that Gideon, you don't look any more cheerful with a gun in your hand, my friend. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to wonder if anything could cheer you up. Alright then. Let's go this way this time. Hello, Aslan. And see if we can figure out where it is we're going or what it is we're doing is that the was the girl that um was mentioning those notes was she the um was she the marion woman that we were talking about right if you'd like to goodness sir would you put a shirt on <laughs> see now you have to change weapons <laughs> which takes forever if you die mate if Right. Game. When you say continue, that means pick up from where I left off. I'm going to press the yes button. That means I don't want you to send me back to the main menu. And yet you send me back to the main menu. I want to like you, game. I really do. But you're not doing yourself any favours with this permadeath rubbish. Alright? I get it that you said the saving thing isn't in the full game. I'll be honest, I'm not convinced I know why. But alright, it's your prerogative. But this permadeath thing is not fun, okay? We're going to go through this one more time. I'll get us back to, back to the kitchen with Mr. Shirtless. And we'll try again to kill him. For goodness sake, give me a second magazine for crying out loud. 
Oh dear. Like, oh, I, oh, this game has everything going for it, but seriously, what is it with this permadeath thing? Who thought that was a good idea? Crying out loud. It just takes for frickin' ever to get back to where you want to be. Right, let me be a little bit more... No, let me not be a little bit more preemptive about it, because that particular camera angle is going to be a massive pain in the neck when trying to kill somebody. Great, and that still isn't enough this time. <laughs> right, I have no idea what has happened, um, but I... Ah, oh, game, I didn't... Oh, I was starting to not like you, but... <laughs> oh, gosh. 15 handgun ammo. Mate, I don't need it. I don't need... Man alive, you were impressed by moonwalking. Man, you ain't seen nothing yet. I got conveyor belts on the other side of my shoes. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. This is a hell of a thing. Oh, look, there's a red barrel. I could blow that up. If only I'd known I was shirtless for a little too, or a little closer than I realised. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, never mind. Um, let's ignore all of that completely. Admit that there's nothing here of any importance, and um, continue on now. Okay. On the one hand, um. On the one hand, this knife is dangerous to use because it requires that they get close to me. On the other hand, it's really good. Hello, madam. Because for some reason, I can hit way faster than I can with a real knife. So this sort of... This sort of... <laughs> paralysis knife... <laughs> this paralysis knife is brilliant, right? Absolutely fantastic in the sense that it hits real fast and well just just real fast to be honest um so that's nice disadvantages i'm definitely going to get hit at least once or twice to each enemy uh, which is bad because i've no healing items but um okay sometimes playing a demo is advantageous because on the one hand you can't save and on the other hand at least you have a few more game breaking bugs that are fun to play with. Right. <coughs> See there, I'm now in real danger unless I find a healing item, so I guess I'm going to have to go back to the gun. Ah, I'm hiding it in my jacket like a cop. Like a detective. And then I pull it out and I want to be all dramatic. Right, how do I reload? Like that. Good. Good. <laughs> Alright game, fair enough. You are winning me over. Or is he holding his side because he's hurt? Perhaps that's the, that's the situation. One does not know. It's just really difficult. Because all obviously the controls are like reverse and stuff. <laughs> Look, fat so just screw off. Okay, so when you die, it says continue, question mark. If you click yes, you do not continue, you go back to the main menu. If you click no, you go back to the desktop. Am I the only one that thinks that makes no sense at all? Surely no should bring you back to the main menu, and yes should bring you back to a checkpoint, right? Because it seems like a lot of effort has gone into this to make a fun, unique, polished game. Surely putting in checkpoints isn't... I, I you know, I, I'll confess, I know nothing about game design. For all I know, checkpoints are one of the hardest things to put in any game. Maybe that's why so many indie games are so short, because they don't want to put in any checkpoints. Maybe that's the case, and if that's the case, then absolutely fine. But somehow I doubt putting in checkpoints is the hardest part of game design. Um, 
and I'm a bit confused why this one doesn't have any, because clearly the combat is a big part of it, and the combat is quite difficult, at least for a blithering idiot such as myself. So, um... Why is it permadeath? Why? That's the that's the breaking part of this, because I want to sing this game's praises and love everything about it, because I do love everything about it. This game is brilliant, and I really wish I could play more of it, but here's the thing. I can't afford to do another 20 minutes of game every time I die, and every time I get further, the amount of time I have to spend correcting my last to death gets longer, which is massively irritating enormously irritating because this game is fun and it's beautiful and it's intriguing and it's well designed and it's smooth and the sounds are nice too and the lighting is cute even if the main protagonist does look like you've just stolen the sausage roll everything's good about this except the frickin' permadeath Gideon never mind when the full game comes out, and you can actually save, and there's checkpoints and stuff, I'll come back to this and play some more, because it's fun. It's just a massive pain in the neck. Kitty, I can't catch a break today. <laughs> Why is it always on the boiling hot days that you play the games that just get under your skin like nettles? Oh dear, but yeah, I will keep an eye on this when the full thing comes out, if the full thing ever comes out, you know what indie projects on Itch.io are like. Um, I'll play it, and we'll have some fun with this, because I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> well, I won't say it again, I'll just say thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen, look after each other, and, and put saves in your games, and good night.